Hugh Jackson may not be here anymore, but we are. <laughs> I'm Greg Sussman alongside Jim Sonis, and this is the FanDuel Hurry. What's going on, Jim? Yeah, I mean, I was uh, interested to see what would go down with Hugh Jackson getting fired, but then they announced that Greg Williams was the interim guy, and as a big-time Baker Mayfield fan, I don't know if that's actually an improvement, honestly. Freddy Kitchens, man! It's all about Freddy! Yeah, I definitely knew who this guy was before today. I had definitely heard his name at some point in my life, I am sure. Uh, maybe. Definitely not. I have no idea who this guy is. According to his Wikipedia, he resurrected the career of Carson Palmer as the quarterback's coach in Arizona and had nothing to do with Bruce Arians. Okay, yeah, yeah. Bruce Arians, yeah, not known for being an offensive genius or anything, so I'm sure it was all about kitchens. Absolutely, sure. Baker Mayfield, not in the stock up column today. <laughs> but you know who Going is? You know who is? DJ Moore, wide receiver for the Carolina Panthers, the rookie from the University of Maryland, crushed it on Sunday. Why is the arrow pointing up on DJ Moore? Well, obviously, it's the Big Ten background. You know, you got to have that. <laughs> if not for that, I don't know if we'd be talking about this guy. Uh, but DJ Moore really stepped in well with Torrey Smith out on Sunday. Uh, you kind of expected that DJ Moore would get more snaps, but he played 71% of their snaps on Sunday, which was only two fewer snaps than what Devin Funches was at because Carolina does rotate their wide receivers. So seeing more near the top of the heap, super encouraging. And he looked good. He had six targets. Two of those targets were deep targets, and he also had two rushes attempts which to me says Carolina knows how good of a talent he is and they want the football in his hands which to me is super encouraging so I think that the one thing you can say about DJ Moore is that he's never going to be a super high volume guy because they've got Christian McCaffrey they've got Cam to run the ball uh, they've got Greg Olson they've also got Devin Funches so he's not going to be a 10 11 12 target guy especially because they do tend to run the football quite a bit still but he is superbly talented, as he showed at Maryland. And uh, there's a reason he was a first-round pick. And if you can get him the football five or so times per game, he can do quite a bit with that. Now, we do have to see what will happen with Torrey Smith's health, because if Smith comes back, maybe he jumps back into his old role. They put Smith back, or they put Moore back in the bottle. But I think with what Moore showed, both yesterday and for the entire season so far, is that they need this guy in the field, and Carolina's a team that can contend this year. So they need their best players out there. So I'm inclined to believe that, that Moore is here to stay. I, I liked what I saw from him both on Sunday and honestly the whole year. So I'm excited to see what he does, and I think this is a good time to buy DJ Moore for sure. The schedule's quite nice for the Panthers going forward. Is there any chance that we saw it on Sunday, DJ Moore have more targets and receptions and yards than Devin Funches? Is there a changing of the guard there, or is this a one-week wonder? I think that their roles are different enough to still be, you know, where they could both maintain viability. The one area where I do think it does hurt Devin Funches is DJ Moore, despite not being this huge guy, can get down the field. And previously, Devin Funches has kind of been the lone ranger from a downfield target perspective. But as I said in that game, DJ Moore had two deep targets and Devin Funches had just one out of four total from Cam Newton on the day. So I think it's a threat to Devin Funches there. It's not to the point where I'm saying you need to sell Devin Funches now uh, because he has looked really good ever since Greg Olson got back as well. But I think, yeah, it does hurt Funches down the field a bit where he is not, you know, Cam doesn't have to force it to Devin Funches. That may make Cam Newton more efficient, but I think that you're along the right path there where it does hurt Devin Funches a little bit. All right, so roles are a little bit different, so we should be okay when it comes to picking up DJ Moore. And again, the Maryland pedigree. All good. Make sure you <laughs> grab him. 